Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't seen our last video, we have bought a van and this is where we are now. Um, it's six meters long, so very, very long. Although we're amazing, amazing drivers, um, we're gonna get ourselves fitted a reverse camera, which is what I'm gonna do today. Never done anything like that before. Um, so I thought we'd come along on the ride and see if we can get it working. So this is what we brought, uh, we got it from Amazon. It was about 85 pounds, uh, reduced down to just under 60. Um, it is a wireless camera, so we need to power the, the, the screen and we need to power the camera, but nothing in the middle, which should hopefully make it easier to fit. Um, yeah, let's see what we've got. Right, let's have a little look inside. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got the screen. Um, quite a nice looking screen, really. Goes this way around, uh, quite small. Um, nice and nice and thin so that'll go up on the dashboard obviously got the power supply for the screen and we've got the camera itself which I need to find somewhere to to fit that and then all the wiring the things inside as well okay. all right so have a look at that so i've got my tools ready as well so we've got some screwdrivers some um a blade my strippers some wire and some connections so I think first of all, let's see if the cigarette lighter works inside the cab to make the screen work. Okay, so the screen comes with a wire attached to the end and then the charger bit on there. So that goes in there like that. There is a holder which I'll use eventually, but let's just see if the cigarette lighter works. Obviously plugs in there. Oh, straight away it's working. That's good news. Let's see if it's anything come up on the screen. Oh, welcome. Good, so that's working, so that's, that's, that's a good start. <laughs> so let's turn that off for now, and then go and see if we can work out where we're gonna put the actual camera itself. Right, so we're at the back of the van. Also, well, we've got the ladder here, which will be really useful when it comes to putting solar and things on, but actually might get in the way for when I'm trying to put the camera in place. So it shows online to put it there, but I think it's just gonna look at that. So I'm not sure, I might see if I can put it on that bolt there. I uh, don't know if it's gonna be, um, wide enough to do so but I can always make the hole bigger or potentially I can put up behind using that bolt oh, potentially put up there and use the bolt there so I'm not entirely sure so what I might do is extend the wire on the camera just attach it to a battery and then we can check up the front to see if it's useful or not I think that's what we'll do okay so the camera connects to this wire here like that and then this is the wire that will connect on to whatever power source I want to use on the on the uh, power supply from the van now I think the plan is to connect it to the side lights instead of the reverse light because sometimes we follow each other because if we go with all of the children we are going to be following each other so it'd be really useful to see behind us while we're traveling um, but for now I need to work out where we're going to position the camera so I'm going to connect it up to another piece of wire which I bought earlier on today so I can just connect it to a battery just so I can see what the actual view is going to be so I'm going to use these connections right here they they are um, heat shrink so I will connect it in there it's very very thin wires they are so I'm, I'm hoping I'll be able to get a decent enough connection um, and then I'll heat it up and it'll protect and make it waterproof but for now I'm just going to loosely connect it just so I can then see how it looks on the back of the van Okay, so I've joined the wires. They are incredibly thin, the wires that have come with the camera. So it's quite difficult to get a, uh, a, a decent crimp. Um, done a bit crudely for now. This is just so I can then test it with a battery connected to it to see exactly where I need to put the camera. So I'll do that and then I'll show you where we're at. Okay, so we try a number of places. We think up here is gonna be where we're gonna keep it. The sellotape seems to be doing a good job. So we might use sellotape to, to keep it up, no, I'm only joking. We're gonna use this screw to, to screw it in place. I'm gonna then get some sealant to run along the edges to stop water getting in. And there's a hole behind there for the wiring anyway, so I'm hoping I'll be able to put the wiring through there as well, which will be hidden. We tried it down here. We tried it down here, but you could only see up to about there because we want to be able to see the tow bar. You can't really see past there really, whereas up there we can see a lot further forward. So I think that's where we're gonna settle on. Um, so we're gonna take the lamp off, have a quick look and see what we've got. Okay, so I've taken the lamp off um, and there's a nice big hole to feed the wires to, which is good. And it's been converted to an LED, which is really good news. It means it shouldn't go um, wear out. So if I do silicon it up, 
it won't need to be removed to a new bulb. Only problem is, because it's so flat now, feeding the wire through is going to scrimp it. So I have made a little lug in there to feed the wire through. I'm going to seal it up. Um, in fact, Lauren's gone to get some sealant now. And then hopefully it'll all be good. The wire can feed through there and then we'll wire it in behind. So let's get that on and I'll show you. We're in another day now. Um, I put the camera up into place uh, yesterday um, and it all stopped working. Nothing will work at all. So I took it all apart. Um, what's it called, the mastic cup that I just put up to, to see what was going on and it's just not working. So it appears that the camera has just failed completely. Um, so I've sent it back, got something new. Um, actually, it seems a lot better. I will show you it. I got another one from, from Amazon. It was very similar, similar price, um, slightly different. So it's got a smaller screen, but let's have a look at it together. Unboxed it. <laughs> yeah, the screen's a bit smaller, but it's just as thin, looks just as nice. Um, so that's, that plugs in exactly the same way as the last one. The wires, I'll show you these, compared to that last one that we had, are so much thicker. These wires are much thicker, so hopefully much easier to, to attach. If you can see here, much, much thicker, what you'd expect on, on a wire. So these should be much easier to attach and connect it up anyway. The camera head itself, is a lot smaller and it's got much more bend in it. So hopefully again, it will work better than the last one. This has a, a range of 170 degrees, whereas the other one had only 130. So we hopefully will be able to see more as well, but only time will tell, let's see how long this one lasts. But uh, I'm gonna put it all back in the same place exactly as I've already shown you. So I'm not gonna bore you with that and then we'll see how it works. <laughs> it's started raining now, uh, obviously, but um, it's all in loosely, let me show you. And I've tested it and it is absolutely working perfectly. So, okay, obviously, like I said, the wires are very, very crude, just hanging over there at the moment. And then I've plumbed them in, into the wiring on the side lights, because like I said, I want to have it running just with the lights on. So if we're following each other, we'll be able to see each other. Now this is a lot better. The angle that this camera gives is so much better. We can see much wider, the whole back of the, the van, but also quite far back as well. So when we're following, so yeah, really quite happy with that. But I'm gonna tie the wires up um, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll also show you how it works at the front as well. But really quite happy with that. Okay, so the wiring is all nice and, and tidied up. I've used these, these uh, wiring connectors. Um, I've used them on the boat. Um, they are, rated to up to 240 volts um, and I just really like them they're quite secure I've not had any issues with them so far I can disconnect them if I need to because I may choose to wire it up to a permanent switch at some point once all the electrics are in but it's yeah it's, it's, it's nice and neat and tidy um, obviously fed the wires through the body of the door and then this is the top bit now this here I cut and um, it can be used as a front camera as well and um, so it was mirrored so I've cut it so I haven't got the mirror in on the screen and this is the little part of the aerial here. So I've held it up out of the way so it doesn't fall down sort of here and cause issues um, for picking up the signal. Um, and at some point we'll obviously be putting some insulation and putting on um, some board in there. So hopefully it won't disrupt the signal at all. So it's another day. Uh, the rain got really, really heavy so I had to stop it. It was hammering it down. Um, but that, I suppose that's the, the time of year. Um, but um, yes, another day, um, got it all in tidied all the wiring as you've just seen and I just thought I'd show you what, it, what it's like from from the inside. So where it plugs into the cigarette light it actually has a switch which is useful so we can turn it on and off if we don't want it on all the time. Um, the I've actually hidden the wires just loosely for now behind the the dashboard cowling um, as there were some screws missing anyway uh, but I will follow that all through and make it all nice and neat uh, also put a phone charger wire in there comes with a number of um, ways to fix the screen um, on the windscreen and also on the dashboard I've chosen to put it just here um, using sticky tabs which they provide um, and then I've got my phone here and I'll be able to see both both out of my view while I'm driving so so that works quite well so let me just turn on the power as you can see comes up showing us no signal as soon as I put the lights on because like I said I've connected it to the light so I can see behind me it should come up and there we go now it's not as clear as the last one that I got the last one I got was, was quite a, a much clearer picture but we saw it didn't last very long uh, the wiring was really really thin um, which concerned me anyway and 
This one's got a, a much wider angle, so I can see the hole across the hole on the back of the, the van, and it's also got um, a much sort of further view, so I can see behind when, when we're traveling behind each other. Um, depending on where the van is, it's a better picture. Um, this is all nice and tight. I put it at this angle, so this seemed to be the, the best um, signal that I could get, but I suppose the van is big and there's a lot of metal in there, so this is as good as it's gonna get, but for 60 pounds, can't really ask for much more really. But yeah, overall, it's doing the job. So that's all complete now, and that's the end of the video. I hope it's helpful. Um, it's not something I'd ever done before, so hopefully me working through it for the first time has helped anyone else who might want to do one. Um, there's going to be more of these videos coming, so please do, do share and subscribe. Uh, tick that bell, uh, you'll find out when I'm doing more videos. Um, and obviously there's going to be lots of narrowboat ones and some family ones as well, so look out and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.